When you are thinking about food, you have to take a look at volume. Within the United States, food is abundant and cheap. Weight Watchers have been telling members for years that the amount of food matters establishing a point program to change eating behavior. Setting aside what we consume, we as a nation eat too much as a percentage of what our own body converts to energy our body expels in the way of physical activity. Essentially, we require to eat less at every meal but consume much more frequently throughout the day. This is most difficult in social situations when certain eating habits are acceptable and others are not appropriate. Other uncomfortable moments come with an abundance of food mentality where saying no can be a drastic event such as meals with your boss and co-workers or family activities. One tip to keep in mind as the pressure is on is the fact that your stomach is roughly the size of your fist. Hold your fist above your plate and visualize what your system has to perform to overcome what is outside of the fist size. If you were a manufacturing plant, you'd have a backup as too much overloaded the system and now energy is being diverted while they wait for processing. If you're just starting to reduce your food consumption and you're wondering how to deal with objections you've got some options. Even though most persons are aggressive on the front end of the social eating, they are hardly ever aggressive on the back end. Once they've gotten you to accept their request for the acceptance of food they hardly ever care if you eat it all. The job is done. The offer was made and accepted. Follow-up is about as applicable much like anything else in life. Not many people cares to do it. You're now free to ditch the plate. Turn the tables with your food pushing friends. Every year numerous non-profit organizations have walks to raise revenue for their charity. Join one or two of these. By doing this you are able to make the declaration that you are in training for an event. If this does not hold them at bay, ask to get a donation to support your marathon. If they still would like you to eat, request them to join you with your following walk. A wonderful diversion away from over-consuming that will be an advantage for many. It's interesting that asking an athlete to overeat is just plain wrong whereas asking somebody else that you care about is love and acceptance. Speaking of athletes, look at their eating patterns and you see that they consume quite little but very frequently to keep their metabolism at peak efficiency. Diabetics hold the exact same goal although for a different purpose. They are attempting to sustain a steady blood sugar level through their constant food consumption. If you have benefited from this video, immediately hit the subscribe button and bell notification now for your next inspiring video. If you would like to lose weight, click the link in the description below to learn more.